Hi everybody, Professor Gassimi here. I wanted to start this week's lecture with a very quick logistical item. Uh, at the start of the semester, we had discussed that the lectures would be released approximately once a week. And there's going to be some occasions as things come up during the semester where lectures may get delayed. If a lecture gets delayed, please don't be too concerned. Any homework that's associated with that lecture, you'll still have a seven day window to complete it. So we won't, for instance, release the lectures on a Friday and then expect you to have everything done by that upcoming Monday. If we assign something, there'll always be seven days for you to work on the assignments that come with it. Okay, so with that logistical item out of the way, I wanted to speak about the contents of this week's lecture at a high level. Really, we're touching on four topics this week. The first one is how you go about representing text numerically. Remember, we spoke about all this work on tokenization and we kind of explored that in the last homework. Well, this week we're gonna be speaking about some techniques that formally turn sets of text into a numerical representation that we can start to do statistical analysis on. The second set of things we're gonna be discussing are classification models. Specifically, we'll be talking about the naive Bayes model and logistic regression. In the course of discussing those two modeling frameworks, we will touch on at a high level, some other affiliated modeling frameworks and extensions of those two very simple models. I think it's critical to touch those two modeling frameworks when we speak about classification, because if you actually grasp what's going on with those two, understanding the way a lot of the other modeling paradigms work will actually be pretty straightforward, I hope. At a minimum, you'll be able to explore and read different kinds of texts and sort of have an intuition for what they're talking about if those two modeling frameworks are clear to you. The last thing we're gonna be speaking about is how do you go about performing assessments of your modeling paradigm? So there's a lot of performance metrics, right? You've probably heard of accuracy, F1 score, precision, recall, area under the receiver operator curve, area under the precision recall curve. There's all these different classification metrics. We're also going to be discussing that a little bit this week. I'm really delighted to share that we have um, Professor Al Hanai from New York University who will actually be guest lecturing on that last topic related to the classification metrics. As always, if there's anything I can do to help you, please feel free to reach out.